Chris Leon. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is JT back with another episode. Today's number 60. And, you know, I just had my mom leave town. She stayed with us for about a week. You know, she met her grandchild, you know, and doing about a million errands. You know what it's like, you know, with your mom just running a million errands. And if you live with them, like, you... I don't know. I don't live with my mom, so whenever I see her, it's just she wants to get shit done decorate do shit so i was just walking around with my lady the baby my stepson and her and just trying not to be just a grouch the whole time just fighting that feeling and you just see a worn out a worn out man at the end of a stroller sometimes but you know it's all good it was a fun time it was awesome seeing my mom and do shit but in the meantime Worldwide, we had, you know, senators blocking the PACT Act, you know, just no surprise there. Just more fucking politicians doing what politicians do, and that's not shit. And that's what they say. They're like, and that's what this is what they tell you to, like, avoid getting too caught up in, like, the big scheme of things. They go, well, if you want to make a difference, vote locally. Okay. Like, our local officials are going to do shit. They're mad pussy until they get um, bought out by, you know, they f- ask fuck a sheep or some sort of fucking indigenous child somewhere on the island. And then they move up to the big boys, which is Congress. Take a couple Epstein Island flights, you know, whoever's the new Epstein. It's probably some virtual reality fuck island where they have like superistic. Um, pocket pussies. What are those called? Fleshlights? Yeah, they probably make many fucking fleshlights to. But who knows what they're doing now? And in the meantime, there's just like regular people just doing what they can, trying to raise kids, trying to make money. And if you ain't got kids and you ain't got shit, and you know, talk that shit, man. But. And then also another bait on the hook, we have the Mega Millions ticket. It's so funny to see. I've never bought one lotto ticket in my life. Barely gamble. But I just refuse to put my hope into the fucking lotto system to give me something. And it's funny because even my dad texted me last night. He's like, when I win the Mega Millions, I'm going to send a plane for you. I'm like... How about you just come and hang out, dude? Fuck that thing. But yeah, don't put your hope in the fucking lavado. But it's fun for older people, I guess. Like, my mom likes to do that shit. A bunch of broke people like to do that shit. But one day, I, I fear I, like, loathe for the generation who doesn't buy that. But that'll never happen. Because what Joe Rogan said is people are going to live till 150. And you know him. He's a fucking health scientist for sure. So I believe that. I would like to think I can get to... It trips me out because I'm 31 right now. And then I'll see someone who's like 71. And I'm like, fuck. They're, <clears throat> the difference is even older than I am. How did the, that person make it that long being that fucking stupid and ignorant? That's how I be thinking sometimes I be meeting these people. It's crazy. It's absolute nuts. But sometimes they're full of wisdom. <sighs> but yeah, man, that fucking um things are happening, man. But it was funny to see like uh, Ted Cruz and those politicians celebrate after blocking the bills. Bro, <clears throat> these fucking that's and that's what these cameras and mics are gonna do. They just pick up more audio and video of these senators and politicians just being fucking fucked up. And I'm like, do they have any veterans in their fucking family? Do they have any people who have fought the good fucking battles, dude? Like my grandpappy was on a World War Two vessel, eating horse meat, shooting at Japs. I'm like, fuck that guy. I had uncles that were fucking... One of my uncles went to Vietnam. So this is the story he tells it. 
he says he went in the office to say I don't believe in the war and the army officer threw him a gun and he goes you touched military weapon you're in the fucking draft now and he got drafted like at 18 didn't suffer any physical issues came back mentally fucked up shot his hand off after the war imagine shooting your own hand off after you survive a war and that's basically the country we live in is like you never unscathed like, they say that there's going to be social security for us. There's not going to be none for us by the time we're old. The way they're doing the, the older people in the U.S. now is they're fucking hiking the fucking rent up and kicking them out in the streets. And if you don't do that, then you're going to go get abused in an elderly home somewhere. If you're lucky. That's if you're lucky, you'll die on a fucking mattress out here in the U.S.A. Sorry, I got cut out there, but where was I? Yeah, if you're lucky here in the U.S., you'll down the mattress if your family doesn't kick you out. But that's, I guess, everywhere. <laughs> and, um, yeah, what else is going on? There's been, like, monsoon rains out here, which has been fucking crazy. And there's, like, a big population of fucking homelessness. Probably ex-vets and, you know, molestation victims. Those people seem to make it more in the showbiz, actually, so... I don't know. But, um... The monsoon rains... Um, washed out all the homeless people of the sewers in Las Vegas and brought them up to the surface. Sewers to the surface is how we do it here. And I just can't wait for the day that... I wonder when it's going to be is when the homeless population is higher than... The poverty population or middle class it's going to be poverty and homelessness is going to be the ones and then there's going to be a fucking 28 days later fucking riot dude food riots as they like to say it was hilarious today at breakfast we went to this french diner and this fucking mohican of a man this fucking midwestern fucking barrel chested fat boy Sweetheart of a guy though Man but yeah dude started just <clears throat> I, uh, So I left my phone in the car And I, it was just like an old school conversation of like There's somebody fucking talking to you And It was funny though because he's like When my friend comes up here tell him He can't sit next to your baby Because he heard he was a child molester So you know me I'm rolling with the punches I'm like Floyd Mayweather right here his name's like Tom Jones or something, some performer out here, and he comes up, and I'm like, excuse me, sir, I heard, I don't really want you to sit next to my my child, I heard you were, yeah, next to my daughter, I heard you were a child molester, and he looked at his friend, and just, but it's the good old, like, pull a prank on the people you're with, it's fucking classic, and those are the small victories that we have, like, we can't rely on the Senate, we can't rely on fucking the sewer to the, the sewer to the, um, sewer to the sands people sneaking up out of the, the fucking sewers coming out you have to rely on yourself and that's the gay message i have for you today sorry to be inspirational and shit but you know when your boy's out here doing what he does his mama just leaves town monsoon season's hitting the senate's still up to their no good ass business and that's jt one time for the one time we done son